guys, in this video we're going to be continuing our series of installing the digital readouts onto the smithy. Alright, so what we got here is the 12 inch digital readout kit that I got off of eBay and this is going to become the Y axis, right? That's the cross slide part of the smithy. So let's take a look down here at what we've got and uh, what I've to do so far that we're going to have to do to get this thing installed. Okay, so here's our 12 inch scale with the moving sensor on it and I've looked at this thing now several different ways on how we can get it installed and I've looked online and seen three or four different ways that, that people have installed them already you know and made YouTube videos or put stuff in blogs or whatever just to get some ideas look what other people have done so the main thing that we've got to look at here is that on the smithy the cross slide travel is only about seven and a quarter inches so let's just say round it up to eight inches, all right? So this is a 12 inch scale, and really all we need is about eight inches, all right? So that's the first thing we're gonna to have to do is I wanna shorten this. There's no point in having all this hanging out there or working around it when we don't need to. So that's gonna be the first thing is we're gonna shorten this scale, all right? Then the second thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take these ends here off and flip them over so that this part is on the outside so that we can get our bracket mounted to it and then this is the piece of metal we're going to use to mount it to and it's going to end up being mounted sort of like this and then bolted to the smithy like this okay only this sensor is going to be upside down it's going to be like this okay all right so let's tackle the first problem the first problem is going to be shortening this up and then getting the mounts turned over on it, okay? Which is gonna be pretty simple. Just loose these two screws, slide it off, flip it over, stick it back on, tight screws up. Now, this scale here is just a, an aluminum channel with this magnetic strip laying in it, okay? There's no wires or anything connecting to this, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna gently put this in the vise, and then I'm gonna, I mean, I could probably cut it with a hacksaw, okay? But just to be careful with this magnetic strip, not snag it and pull it out, I'm going to uh, take a cutoff wheel and my little air grinder, and I'm just going to cut that thing right off. All right, guys, so there we just got done cutting off, you know, about four inches off the end of this scale here. And I plugged it into the DRO, and I just wanted to show you. Let's go ahead and deal with the naysayers who say, you can't do that. You can't cut that. Yep, you can. So watch this. Now, I'm going to take it all the way down. And you can see the digital readout going up, counting up. I'm going to take it all the way down to my finger. Look at there. Eight inches. See, that's what we wanted. Eight inches. Let me zero it out. Now, we'll go back the other way. Eight inches all right so you see there guys that you know you can cut this thing to the length that you want like that now this piece of metal here is what I'm going to use to mount you know the the digital readout scale to okay it's going to be mounted here just like this and then this is going to be mounted to the machine all right so let's take a look at what we've got here you know when some of my Research, you know, looking online, looking at videos, look at where other people have, you know, put digital readouts onto their smithies. You know, there's no consensus on what's the best way. Uh, some people have put them here on this side, which, you know, if you remember in my intro video, I was looking at putting it here, all right? And then you'll see where they put it on the opposite side, you know, right here. All right, and Smithy, if you look at some of the pictures of their DRO mounts, in fact, they've got a couple of pre-drilled and tapped five millimeter holes here, and they put it back here, more offset like this. All right, so I wanna kinda go with what Smithy did with theirs. I'm gonna use these two pre-drilled and tapped five millimeter holes that are here, and I'm gonna mount this bracket on there like this. With, uh, with two screws. Then I'm gonna bring my 
you know, DRO scale and sensor here assembly. I'm going to mount it right here with some spacers under it to get it down away from the screw heads. And then around back then, I'll use the holes that Smithy provided to make a custom bracket to attach the sliding sensor to. So that's the plan. So right now I'm going to go over and start assembling this, okay? Alright, so we got this thing all mounted up. So you see what we did there? We just, you know, put some spacers in here and some screws and they're just simple. Some nuts, fasten that thing on there good and tight. And the reason we spaced it down was so that the heads of the screws that are in here won't interfere with this sensor in any way, okay? I was really concerned about that, that the heads of the screws would rub against this sensor or would bind against it. So that's why I spaced it down so far. But this is going to work out really good. So I'll get this thing screwed back onto the smithy, and then we can start looking and taking measurements about our bracket that's going to go there. The next thing we need to do is come in here and make a custom bracket to mount from these two holes here that were already in the smithy, and these are six millimeter threaded holes up to the bottom of the moving sensor. It's gonna be pretty simple. I'll just take a few measurements and uh, make a bend and drill a couple of holes and we'll be done. All right, so there we go. I just whipped out a little quick custom bracket and it's gonna bolt right here to these two holes that come already in the smithy I'll go right there and then the bottom of it will mount to the moving sensor. Alright, so I'm going to get that put on there real quick. Alright guys, so I've got all of that bracket there hooked up and I just want to take a minute here and talk to you about why I believe this is the best location to put the Y-axis, okay? Alright, so the big reason for putting it right here is that it doesn't interfere with any of the give screws and adjustments. It doesn't cover any of the oil locations, including one right here that's not a good camera angle, you can't already see it. To where, if I had mounted this in the center back here, then I would have had to have, you know, drilled a hole and left the provision to be able to get, you know, oil into this fitting. And it could possibly interfere more with, you know, adjusting my gives. On the other side, if I'd have put it on the opposite side of the table, again, there was uh, several oiling locations over there that I was gonna to have to be contending with. So at this location, I was able to use existing threaded holes that were provided by Smithy. I didn't cover up any of the oil locations and I didn't interfere with any of the gibs or right here where you, you know, take an Allen wrench and you lock your table down when you need to do some kind of milling. All right, so next up is we gotta get the cable here run and this is gonna basically follow the other cable around and we'll get it hooked up and try it out. All right, the first thing we'll do is I am going to run the table back and forth to let you see the stroke. All right, guys, well, we've got this, you know, sensor and the scale all mounted up. You know, it runs back and forth good. You see that. No binding, no issues. I mean, it works good, and I think this is really, I really do believe this is the best location for it. You know, not here, not here right there I believe is uh, the best place all right so next thing we got to do is you know get the uh, wire here routed correctly and get the right amount of slack in the right places and then get it up into the sensor and let's check it out we've got the cable all tied up and see here I just ran some zip ties down here putting the two cables together just kind of so they wouldn't be flopping all over the place and then I ran them up through these standoffs and then around to the front through the standoff up here and got it plugged in, so let's come around here and see if this thing works. All right, there's a little bit of glare on the screens. I'm trying to get it just right there. All right, I believe you can see that. All right, so now I'm going to move the X. All right, there's the X, and now the Y that we just installed. We're going to have more counting good. I love that. All right, guys, that thing's looking pretty good. It's counting. The X is working. The Y is working. And the next thing we'll do is start to work on the Z. All right, guys. So that's it for putting the Y axis onto the smithy. 
I tell you, it was pretty straightforward. You know, the, really the hardest part of the whole thing was deciding where to put it. You know, which place would cause the least problems and, you know, would work the best and, and so forth, okay? Well, hey, I want you to stick around. Come back for the next videos on this because we're going to do the Z-axis next. And I tell you, I've already pretty well got it sorted out what we're going to do. And you're going to be blown away how easy this is going to be, all right? Y'all know me. I like to keep it as simple as possible and still function well, okay? And so that's what we're going to be striving for in the next video. Well, guys, I appreciate you watching, and I hope you come back for the very next video.